Five people have been hospitalized during an attack by a sword-wielding assailant in northeast London. Two police officers are said to be among those attacked. The 36-year-old assailant has been arrested. The incident occurred near Haynot tube station in London at around 7 a.m. The assailant stabbed four people after crashing his van into a house, according to an eyewitness account. A resident from Langclose said under the condition of anonymity that she saw the assailant standing outside her home next to a body and wielding a sword in front of two unarmed police and an ambulance. He was wielding his sword trying to attack the police but then they sprayed him and he ran away. We were very scared and trying to hide and not show ourselves through the window, because he was standing right next to our house and he could have seen us if he looked up, the eyewitness said. He had a big samurai sword basically. It was a huge sword. I saw it all from my bedroom window and then when he went into the driveway, a couple doors down, I ran outside and then the police tasered him there, another local resident Chris Bates told local media. The press conference scheduled to be held by Metropolitan Police is delayed. Tornadoes killed four people in Oklahoma, including an infant, and left thousands without power after a destructive outbreak of severe weather flattened buildings in the heart of one rural town and injured at least 100 people across the state, according to Associated Press. Significant damage was reported across the region, including in Marietta, where damage was reported to Marietta Hospital. Hospital patients took shelter during the extreme weather, and no injuries had been reported there. The storms also forced the closure of Interstate 35 North at the Texas state line because of overturned vehicles and power lines that were thrown across the roadway. The Chickasaw Nation was providing support for the storm response in Marietta. More than 20,000 people were still without electricity hours after tornadoes began late Saturday night. The destruction was extensive in Sulphur, a town of about 5,000 people, where a tornado crumpled many downtown buildings, tossed cars and buses and sheared the roofs off houses across a 15-block radius, about 30 people were injured in Sulphur, including some who were in a bar as the tornado struck. Hospitals across the state reported about 100 injuries, including people apparently cut or struck by debris, according to the Oklahoma Department of Emergency Management. The deadly weather in Oklahoma added to the dozens of reported tornadoes that have wreaked havoc in the nation's midsection since last Friday. Another death was reported Sunday in Iowa, where officials in Pottawatomie County said a man critically injured during a tornado had died. Go, 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 just hit something. Please go fast. All right, go north here. Yeah, go north here. Oh, he's gonna hit that building. Go up, pull up behind him. It's getting strong, really strong. Slow down, stop. Can you hear it? Look at that, look how beautiful that is. It is, Haley. It's gonna hit something. Those Look how fast it's. Yeah. He's gonna hit the. Oh, it's gonna hit that barn. Oh, boy. Look at that. Look at that roof oh, flying yeah. in the air. Oh. It's just insulation. Oh my god. 